sofa cover as we don't want uh, Colonel Mustard to get in dirty so I'm going to get them covered up. Why would he get dirty? Because we're getting a puppy tomorrow. <laughs> so this story starts about three weeks ago. So this may sound a bit woo woo but Cody had come to me in the dream. It was a Thursday night and she came and spent a lot of time with me and it had been a long time since I dreamt about her. And unbeknown to Chris, I've been looking at dogs. <laughs> so in a conversation on the Friday, I told Shell that I'd seen Cody and she told me that she started looking for her dogs. So we started looking for a new crew member. So after lots of searching, and I mean lots, within probably a 150 mile radius of where we live, um, we found Damson, um, I can't remember what the site was called, but anyway, she uh, lived in Bulgaria, she was a Bulgarian rescue, uh, and yeah, we fell in love with her, she was kind of like a, I think she was like a Bulgarian shepherd or something like that, but anyway, like a German shepherd, but more black uh, and we liked the name. Um, we liked her so we went through an uh, application process and an interview process and um, the company suggested that we were perhaps a bit too active for her and she was a bit timid um, and they had another male dog but we wanted a female dog really so um, the search began again. Then there was Lottie who was a Brittany Spaniel it was a rescue from Spain. So we didn't hear back from that application. Um, so the search continued. We went to the gym and we both went on the bike and we were both pedalling away and searching for dogs. <laughs> and then that night, uh, Chris found this little one here. Um, so the searches that we were doing consisted of border collies and field spaniels. So those of you that watched uh, Meet the Crew, Cody, Cody was a field spaniel collie cross and we just loved her temperament. So they were sort of the main two focuses of our searches. Typing in border collie for adoption, we came across Luna. We got poo bags. Yep, got poo bags. Happy Mummy's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Luna! Luna! the first week with Luna Beanbags been? No. Uh, quite interesting. <laughs> uh, we've done a lot of walking. Uh, first, I think the first day they realised how energetic she was was Monday because Chris went to work and I worked from home. We had Zoomies. Mm -hmm. Yes, didn't we? So She's calmed down a lot now. We've, we're walking a fair bit every day and she's settling in nicely. Um, but we have about two half an hours a day where she literally bounces from one wall to the other. Luckily, she's not chewed anything on the boat yet. We've got lots of things to chew, lots of toys, so she's eating them. So what are some highlights of the first week together? 
getting out and walking really um she, well you've got to go outside with a dog haven't you and being outside in the fresh air is just beautiful feeling a lot more obviously we're doing a lot more but i feel a lot more relaxed and obviously i've got this beauty to cuddle after a walk it's gorgeous this so some of the highlights this week she's been she met all the family on sunday which is a bit nerve-wracking yeah she's met the crew the Olia crew the Olia crew and she's met your mum you sit yet? Can you sit? Sit. 1999 single. Sit. Look at me. She's sitting. She's sitting. Oh, is that sitting? Uh, Jerry Howell. It was Jerry Howell. That's it then. Yeah, my mum's a bit smitten with her. No chewing. But she was all right, wasn't she? I mean, it was a pub. Went for a pub meal. Yeah, which was very busy. So, yeah, she did all right, didn't she? She just doesn't like... Um, she doesn't like people running at her, so unexpected movement. Um, joggers, children at the minute. Um, another thing that we need to train for her is her love for chasing cars. So she's got a lot of herding instincts and she just, yeah, wants to herd cars. She's not good because it means she tries to run out on the road. So, yeah, we're going to concentrate on that this week as well. Yeah, that's a, the biggest behavioural issue, isn't it? Yeah. At the minute. Yeah, she's been, you know, absolutely wonderful, really. I mean, she sleeps through the night. She lets us know when she wants to go to the toilet. She just chills out. She likes puppy. I've started playing her puppy music, which she loves. So when we try and calm her down, when she's got the zoomies, I have the puppy music on, don't we? The highlight was the... Porsum paddock. Oh, we took her to on Friday morning. Morning, everybody. We are at the Paws uh, paddock dog exercise area, which consists of two paddocks and lots of mud but it's awesome it's a win-win for us because the only real behavioural problem that Luna's got is the she tries to herd traffic sometimes so this is adjacent to the M56 which you can hear in the background and the very busy main road in Salisbury Port 7 o'clock on a Friday morning and here's the superstar been very good. It's been good, mummy. Very good. I'm gonna go up here and try and catch a woman with it. Oh, I just... There's one happy mummy. She is rapid. So you think then, Mummy? Very good. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it's awesome to know that she's got a space where she's free to roam. <laughs> and she hasn't run off, have you? No, no. Bring wellies next time, though. It's a bit muddy. So, I'll get it right after. Not wait yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I've got a running belt as well. So she's not she's only meant to do sort of two lots of forty minute walks a day. Um because she's still only eight months, so after twelve months she can do more. So I've got her a running belt just so that she's, you know, a bit more tired. So I'm going to try, she's not really meant to do anything sort of over 5k um, under 12 months. So um, I'm just going to start to get used to the running belt. So we're just going to do a little bit on the field behind us. 
and start to get used to it and then I'm going to do the couch to 5k training which is what they advise for dogs as well when you're doing canine runs so I'm really looking forward to that that'll be ace if I can take her out um, on runs with me the little madam has uh, rolled around in poo twice this week so she's been in the shower with a damn newt Whoa. Oh, you've been ever so good, hey? So she tried to do it again last night and I managed to catch her just in time. So, uh, yeah, we need to watch out for that one. Yeah, so overall, it's been a lovely week. Um, yeah, it's so, so nice to have a dog with us again. Um, really missed being a doggy mummy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, she's a wonderful addition to our family um, and we're completely smitten with her already because you're very pretty aren't you? Yes, no, I'm not biting. No. That's it, belly rubs. Bite Fezzy instead, not mummy. That's it. So yeah, very exciting. Uh, looking forward to doing training sessions with her and getting out running and lots of walking and cuddling. So yeah, say hello to Luna, everybody. <laughs> so, the draw for the Boat Life cards. Luna, you want to pick the winner? Well, winners, there's going to be two. Oh, that one, that one, another one. Who else? Oh, oh, <laughs> that one. Oh, that one. Thank you. <laughs> so beautifully picked by Luna. Uh, you a clever girl. We've got Sue E. And we've also got Kerry. Congratulations to you both. We'll uh, make contact with you and arrange a delivery dress for your new boat life cards. Mm -hmm.